So I figured I would do two videos today just because I haven't done one in a while. This month has been really hectic and it's just been not that great. However, it's the end of the month, so August is coming up. August has a lot of stuff in store for me. I'm going to be starting college and um, I actually went to orientation last week and it was wonderful. I met so many new people and I'm really excited to start school. Um, so I thought I would share with you guys my July favorites and I do have a lot of things so bear with me. Um, this Eternal Grace Philosophy Body Spray, it's actually a perfume, but um, I got this as a gift for my cousin who used to work for Philosophy and it has a really clean smell. I don't wear it very often but I do like it and when I do wear it I only use like a squirt or two. I also have, where are my other ones, sorry. I'm not really picky about my nail polish. A lot of people like to use OPI and Essie, and I love those colors that they have, and I like their brushes, but I don't really like spending 8 or $9 on nail polish, so I go to Forever 21 and buy their nail polish, and it's um, all their nail polish that I've seen has been 280 and they're really good quality, actually. Sometimes you have to do a few coats, but I like it, and it stays on really well. It doesn't chip for me, um, so I have... The LA Girl Flare, and this is in... Actually, I don't know if they even really have names. Um, they might have, but I might have peeled the sticker off. But it's kind of like this coral pink color. And then there's also from the Love and Beauty line. This is... Never mind, this one doesn't have a color either that I can see. Um, but it's just kind of like the seafoam green. And then what I'm wearing right now is from LA Girl Flare. And it's kind of like a, a sunflower color. And then there's also, from the Love and Beauty line, this sparkly color. And it's it actually goes on really well. Like, you don't need a color underneath it or anything. Uh, sometimes whenever I buy glitter nail polish, you have to have a coat underneath it because it, it goes on really thin. But this stuff goes on really well, and you can just wear it by itself. I don't usually like wearing this in the summer, but it looks really good in the winter around Christmas time. And recently I've been wearing all these colors... Um, ex minus the glitter, but I really do like this line. Then I have from the e.l.f. line this shimmering facial, it's kind of um, like a paste, but it goes on pretty thin, just like that. Um, and I usually use it um, as a highlight color, or like in the corner of my eye. And this is in where is it? and Spotlight. I've always had a good experience with the e.l.f. products. I've never really had a problem with the quality of it, and it's actually really good quality, especially for the cost. So I, I love this line. And then lately, um, I've always used this Great Lash Big Mascara. Um, you always see it in drugstores, Target, and things like that. Uh, but lately, for summer, I've been using an old tube of mascara, because it's not, it doesn't have a lot in the tube and you can use the wand and it still extends your lashes and adds a little bit of color to them but it's not super thick and I like that because it makes your eyelashes look more natural. And I have, this is really random, but I have Aquaphor. I have a tattoo and this is what they tell you to use on it after you get the tattoo to help it heal and it's kind of like Vaseline but I also use it on my hands, it makes your hands really really soft. And then I have, this is also really random, but I have zinc pills. I got these at the grocery store. It was buy one, get one free. So I just bought two bottles of this. And um, I read an article in a magazine that said people with bad skin usually have a zinc deficiency. So my skin is not the greatest. And i trying to do some different things and hopefully help it clear up. And so I bought two bottles of zinc pills. I'm going to be taking one a day and see if it helps. Okay, the next thing I have is... Um, Philosophy Lip Glosses. I, these were also a gift from my cousin. She got them for me on Christmas, or as a Christmas gift, but I haven't used them until recently. And this one is in Candy Cane, and it's just a clear lip gloss. It smells like mint. It smells, it's actually really good. Um, and then I have a Pink Frosted Cookie, and it's kind of a pink shimmery color. And I don't like lip gloss that has any type of glitter in it, just because I, it's, I don't know. I don't like it. Um, but this is actually... Whenever you put it on, the glitter doesn't show up at all. And then I also have these little... I have a lot of random stuff in here, I realize. That isn't all, like, cosmetics or beauty things, but I don't know. Whatever. Um, 
they're these little to-do lists, and I got them from Target in the dollar area, but it says to-do, and then it has lines for you to write, and it says ASAP, end of week, end of day, never, and just like little boxes you check. And I keep these by my bed because I always think of things that in the middle of the night that I need to do the next day, and it just... I need a place to write it down. So I keep them next to my bed with a pen and everything. And then these came with it and it just says blah, blah, blah at the top. Just things to jot down. Um, then I also have this spray that I used in the last tutorial. I like wearing my hair wavy during the summer just because I don't like to deal with the hassle of straightening and blow drying or curling my hair. And this is actually really good. Um, I don't like using mousse or hairspray because it makes my hair crunchy and that just really bothers me. And this holds the style, but it doesn't, it just, it makes it really loose. And I like that. And it's called Wonder Waves, and you can get it from any drugstore, Walmart, Target, things like that. And I also have this Clinique um, blush stick. Just, it looks kind of dark, but it's actually a really pretty color. Um, I don't buy department store makeup brands very often. Um, I probably should because they're higher end, but they are more expensive, so I don't like spending a whole lot of money on that. But this is this came with a gift as this came as a gift with a purchase. If you spend a certain amount of money, they give you um, like a, a mini gift bag with like little fun sized um, makeup, I guess. And uh, this came with a little. Uh, bottle or a little like container of SPF 15 age defying cream uh, it also came with a tube of lipstick and this uh, I bought the Clinique foundation a while back and it's SPF 15 and I like SPF in my makeup just because I don't have to worry about putting that on before and it just made my skin kind of oily so I don't really use the Clinique, the Clinique line much anymore but I probably will try some more makeup products out from them because I do like their other stuff. Funny story about the SPF actually, uh, Easter weekend I went to Galveston with my best friend for her brother's wedding and we fell asleep on the beach and I... I don't usually burn, so I didn't wear SPF, which was a really, really stupid idea. And I'm pale, so people were like, you don't burn, you know? But I, I usually don't. Like, my shoulders usually get a little bit red, but that's it. Well, fell asleep on the beach, woke up, and my best friend's mom was like, wow, you look really red. I was like, oh, crap, I'm sunburned, you know? So I stood up there for a little bit longer. I didn't really think anything of it. Oh, goodness. Sorry. Um, I didn't really think anything of it and um, got back to the hotel and it just progressed and progressed and I couldn't move the next day at all. So I get back home a couple days later and the blood vessels in my legs broke because it was so bad and my legs were swelling up. I had cankles for a couple days. It wasn't attractive. And so I went to the doctor and she told me I had second degree burns all over my body. So... <laughs> I'm really careful about wearing SPF now, it's just really important, I mean, I was an idiot about it, so I'm a lot smarter about it now, I know that I need to wear SPF, so I wear a lot of makeup products that have SPF in them now, uh, like I'm, I've been wearing this powder, it's uh, L'Oreal Natural True Natural Match, something like that, um, and it has SPF 15 in it, so I usually just dust that all over my face, um, and then I want to try and go up to a higher SPF just because... It'll keep you from having wrinkles when you get older and sunspots and all that stuff. Um, anyway, so got really off track, went on a tangent there. Um, but this is the blush stick. You put it on with your finger, it kind of warms it up a little bit, and then you just put it a little bit on the apples of your cheeks and blend it enough to where it's not like as dark as this. But you can also use this as like a lip tint. And um, this, I, I'm pretty sure this is like an all over color stick but I've been using it for blush but then you can also use it like as an eyeshadow like a cream eyeshadow and it would be really pretty too and it looks like that it's kind of shimmery um kind of like a bronze peach color um I don't know I just thought that was really pretty so I've been using that recently and that was a really long story on the Clinique line anyway um I also have my Nikon camera and I love my Nikon I my phone is blowing up. Okay, sorry. Um, I love my Nikon camera, and I got it as a Christmas gift. My mom does photography. My older sister does photography. My grandfather does photography. It's just, it, 
it runs in the family. I'm a horrible photographer. I didn't get that gene. However, I do love taking pictures. I love documenting everything. I love taking pictures of my friends and places I go and things like that. So my mom got me an icon for Christmas and <sighs> have not had the best experience with it. Um, whenever we first got it, we could not figure out what was wrong with it. It wasn't turning on. It wasn't, I don't know, just all this stuff. And then I also had, um, some batteries explode inside of it so the battery acid got everywhere it wasn't working for about a month and I just I wanted to cry it was horrible um and so I cleaned it out and finally somehow it started working again and then in June it stopped working once again the flash wasn't working it wasn't turning on I changed the batteries five six times it just wasn't working and a couple weeks ago I tried it again and I just kind of had set it aside for a while and a couple weeks ago I tried um, seeing if it would work and I put the batteries in because I was going to orientation I really wanted to take pictures and thank god it worked I was so excited so I've been using this constantly um, just because I need to use it while I can while it works um, but just the flash lifts up it is the Nikon cool picks um, there are a couple additions to the cool picks Nikon cool picks L100 so when it does work it's an awesome camera um, I would recommend it. I think I just got a faulty one. Um, I've always had good experiences with Nikons. My mom and my sister have Nikons and they love them. Theirs work amazingly well. Theirs are a lot more professional than mine. But um, it's just like a, a good digital camera. The only thing that bothers me about this is it doesn't have um, a viewfinder. Like where you can look in and snap the picture. But oh well. I love this thing. And I have been using it to my advantage while it's been working. Okay. I also have this book and I am in love with this book. Um, I went to the library, I've been going to the library a lot recently just because um, we had a borders near us and it closed down because they're going out of business unfortunately it makes me really sad. Um, but I found this and it's Whitney Port and it's called True Wit and um, I'm gonna buy it as soon as I can, as soon as I can get my hands on a copy because it has everything in it. It has fashion tips, recipes, how to throw a party, just all these different things and I was never really a huge fan of The Hills but I did watch The City every now and then and I really do like Whitney. Think oh no that's not my last thing. Um, I'm almost done. I promise. Um, I have this Rachel Zoe season one. I love her. Um, I've always liked seeing what she picks out and I've been watching her show for a while. Uh, it comes on Bravo and I think it still comes on Bravo. I haven't watched it. I haven't been watching any recent episodes if they're still filming because I know she is either very pregnant or just had her baby. Um, so I decided to buy this at Target and I think this is only like $15. Target has some really um, cheap DVD sets like of shows. Um, so I'm probably going to go out and buy season 2 really soon. But I watched all of this and I love her. I love watching her show. It's just interesting to me. Um, and then I think this is the last thing I have. It should be. Um, I have these. This is an iPad case from Stephanie Johnson. It's from what I know, it's Betsy Johnson's sister. I'm not sure if that's right, but um, it just kind of zips up when you put your iPad in there. I don't have an iPad. Um, my parents have an iPad, and I thought about getting one for college, but I'm going to go ahead and stick with the laptop instead. Um, but I was in love with this case. My mom um, works with some really awesome clients. She's uh, the voice of Kate Spade. Uh, if you call Kate Spade's number, it's my mom. It doesn't sound like her at all, but... Um, it's my mom talking, and she uh, she has a lot of really good clients. Uh, Volcom is one of her clients, and then I uh, Cambria Cove. I think they actually just went out of business, but they were one of her clients, and they they just have some really nice stuff. And so they, my mom gets a lot of free stuff from work, like all the time. So she came home with this iPad case, and she was gonna give it to my aunt. And I said, no, I want it. I want it so bad. And I've been eyeing it. And she's like, no, I think I'm just going to give it to your aunt. But then she came home with a pink and gold case. And that, that she's going to give it to my aunt. Because my aunt is like super girly obsessed with pink. Um, so she came home. And she said, hey, guess what? I have this for you. You can keep it. And I also have this. It's a matching makeup case. I am in love with it. I'm not actually positive if it's for makeup. But that's what I'm using it for. Um... It's just really pretty. It has like this gold detailing. I don't know. I'm obsessed with it. And um, I just went ahead and put a little um, 
clear plastic bag in it so my makeup doesn't get on the inside lining and I carry this around with me everywhere because once again I am in love with it um, but these were my July favorites uh, I hope you guys enjoyed I will probably do one for August just because I've been finding a lot of really awesome stuff in the stores lately um, so I know this was really long and drawn out and I don't usually do videos like this but let me know if you like it and maybe I'll start doing some more so I will see you guys soon sorry again for not doing videos for a while but hopefully they'll be more frequent and I hope you guys enjoyed